Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of Smith of the Black with the Strat Time Report coming into a Friday, and here's what we got going on. So, uh, we know about the reversal on the weekly uh, for the spies and pretty much everything 2-2 two, two to the upside, 2 down, 2 up. So, not a surprise to gap up today, but now we gap and sit, alright, so right now a lot of things stuck inside inside 60 for the spy so we want to see how that breaks right do we break higher and reconfirm all the two two weaker breaks or do we get some profit taking coming in right now we don't know if you go to the qqq well let's just also look at that monthly remember last month was an outside month put took out both sides and now potential outside outside month now right because it when you come into next week we're nowhere near taking out this week's lows, right? So we're nowhere near a reversal on the downside as of right now. So watching the 60s, though, for the rest, to gauge the rest of the day. If you go to QQQ, QQQ, now inside on the 60 as well, just doji and out, and still two down, two up on the week, right? And three, two, and coming back through, so potential outside, outside month if they want to take these back to the highs. If you go to the diamonds, Inside 60, so just stalled out here, took the inside week to the upside, still inside month, but getting closer to getting into the highs, but all these inside 60s need to resolve. Uh, one of the things you want to look for on a day like today, uh, when we do go sideways like this and on the 60s, or start to come in a little bit, is you'd want to look for anybody taking out yesterday's lows, right? And I'll tell you why, because we had, if you go to the SPY, yesterday a powerful rally, a gap, and just power rallied all day long, and I'll trigger a lot of those two, two weeks. And then we gap up again. And then so anybody taking out yesterday's lows, they got what they wanted, right? The, 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 the market rallied, and then it rallied again. But their stock takes out yesterday's lows. Those guys are in trouble. And we'll get to those guys in just a second. On the upside, we got STNE. And STNE just comes roaring out of here. Outside week here. Right, three in the week, and you can see this coming back through a previous range. So anybody short in here is just going short against this and this and this and pivot machine gun, and boom, off they go. A little quick on here, so now let's see, see if that sets up again for us. Uh, let's see in the 15 here in the next 15 minutes if you can take this out. 37.79, you'd be a 2-2 back up on the 15. We'll see how that goes. Really want to see how these futures break with all these inside 60s, but uh, we'll see either side. JB Hunt Trucker and the Gapper. This takes off here, and you can see this here on the 30. Inside on the 30. 212 continuation, and if that works, we're going to do this on the 60. Momo Hammer. Anybody who got short in here thinking this thing was going to fill the gap? Right here is where they go underwater. And boom. They, they meet full time frame continuity, and 312 on the weaker to the upside. If you go to Wells Fargo. And Wells Fargo, here's another reversal that you can look for, the 3-2, right? The 3-2 reversal. So yesterday, you can see this. It goes up and then goes outside, stops everybody out. You know who's long this thing? Nobody, right? <laughs> Nobody. Everybody got wiped out yesterday. So then when it takes this out, the scramble is on to get back in. And that's when you see a pretty powerful move like here. We'll see if that sets up again. Still inside month and setting up the Rev Strat week. Inside week followed by hammer. Right, so that's something you'd want to look for. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it's usually pretty powerful. If you go to Home Depot, and the Home Depot are just going into new highs, and so here's what we look for here on the weekly. You see this? The outside week by taking out both sides. The slight poke down. The 322, bam, into the highs she goes and just stalling out with the market like a lot of things right now. If you go to Amazon, The sleeping giant. Been doing nothing forever. But in a week like this, when we've been looking for the 2 2 reversal weeks, which we've gotten a lot of, which I've pointed out all week, that you're going to see this. Today, it finally does it. Here's the two down, and then boom, two up, 2 2 reversal week. And you can see how powerful that was right out the chute. Now, inside on the 60, like a lot of things, waiting to see uh, what gives on these futures. If we go to the rails. Norfolk Southern, again, all right? We've known about these guys all month. The Rev Strat month, inside month, down, boom, still going, right? And you just wait for that triangle. They out daily, right here. Two down, 
boom, 2-2 reversal and still going. You can keep an eye on Union Pack. Stalls out a little bit here and CSX, of course. Been talking about these all month, right? All month. Still good. And from last night's videos, we got MA. Inside day to the upside. Stalling out a little bit here in the inside and in the uh, opening 60 minute range, like a lot of things with the market. So we're still waiting to see how this market breaks. And MA with Visa here. Inside day to the upside per the video, setting up another hammer on the week. Look at this. They keep trying to hit it, keep trying to hit it, keep trying to hit it. Visa might want to take a look at that next week. If you can take out these weekly highs, you go boom. Tried to hit it, tried to hit it, tried to hit it. Let's take another shot at the upside. If we go to Alcoa. And Alcoa. And just exhaustion risk going into the highs. <laughs> and you can see this. Stopped everybody out last week, and boom, when you go 2-2 two, two weaker, we're going to take this baby up, right? And that's what it did, right up here. A little quick here on the 60. We'll see if that sets up again for us. If you go to the hot, and the hot having a nice day, and just exhaustion risk by going into the highs, but you can see this nice percentage gains on that. And let's see if we can get, ooh, here you go on the 30. How do you get in on this, Rob? You go right here. Two down, two up reversal. Right here. Off she goes. All right. Still watching these broader averages go sideways for now. If you go to Decker's. And Decker's, remember, nice move down off the inside week. Here's the inside week. And here was that reversal on the daily. Two up, two down. Boom, it's wiped them all out there. And then you get your 2 2 reversal back up. And if that works, sets up the rev strat week for next week. So see you next week there, Deckers. If we go to Mara with the Bitkerners. And the Bitkerners still having a nice run here. So it just stalls out a little bit here. What's that 60 looking like? 60, one outside 60, still trying to go up there. And that tells us to keep an eye on MSTR. And you can see that slight gap up and fade, and then boom, right back in their face, inside 60 to the upside. 2-2 two, two reversal month in this thing, still working by taking out the previous low, now taking out the previous the high. Uh, if we go, so that tells you like, maybe some Coinbase. Git boy, there you go. And Coinbase, <coughs> trying to come up on these guys here. So nice gap and hold, inside 60 to the upside, so the... Uh, Bitcoiners working. If we go to EVA, this thing's a little thin, but you can see this monthly here. Inside month, poke down to RevStrat month, boom, took all these guys out in one shot. There was your outside week 3 2 to the upside, which means this down here, that selling was being rejected and now coming back up. So a nice little run for EVA. And FSLY. And FSLY looking to be an outside month now, right? And remember, there's their 2-2 reversal, and you've still got all these guys to take out here. So I'd keep an eye on that going forward for sure. Now, on the downside, uh, like I said, guys who, who stayed long something got what they wanted. The market rallied, and even if their stock was being a pig yesterday, then we gap up again. But what happened? Futu. Lights out, boy. Boom. So, <laughs> Futu. It, it was down yesterday when the market was just gunning, even though it's China and we knew China was weak. And then you come in today and it follows through, right? Because you have the inside month to the downside. Bunch of our group in off the inside 30 right here below 70. Boom, there's a quick six bucks for you so far and still puking. If we go to CRSR. Nah, it's rallying back. But you can see here, two down today, boy, but they wiped them all in one shot. You prefer not to gap on this. You'd want to open and then start moving through all this because you want to stop the guys out. So when you puke like this, you, like here, you can take them all out in one shot. That's not what you want. You want to stop them so they can trigger each other like a house of cards and puke. So that's starting to come back up a little bit. This morning also, Facebook. Facebook's mellowing out now like the market and you're getting your inside 60s and all that kind of stuff but right out the chute from yesterday the market's gunning and Facebook just kind of sat there and did nothing 
right? So you come in today and the market gaps up and it doesn't gap with it, boom, like I said, as soon as it takes this out, right, no gap. That's good. So right here, stopped all these guys out in one shot, right? Anybody who's long from yesterday. So the hopes is to come back through here. Right now, you're still inside on the 60. If we go to iPaper, and iPaper, the 312 day, outside day by taking out both sides, inside day, boom, either side of that, we're looking to take out this, which we got, right? And if that works, one bar rev strat week, inside week, boom, bring me three bar, right? So right now, trying to take a 60 down directional, I'd like to see if we can take out all these guys, that would be nice, right? Anybody who's stopped against this kind of stuff, you know, those guys who say, this is my support pivot, as if there's buy orders there, there's not. So let's see if we can take that out come the afternoon. If we go to NVAX, and NVAX, not totally getting killed because it's inside, inside week. So it's going to get my attention because on the monthly, it's a two up, two down reversal to the downside. So you can see it's had this tight range. And then yesterday with this power market, this is all it could muster. So you come in today, you take out yesterday's lows. Boom, we're looking to stop all these guys out. We'll see if we can get any more out of that. Of course, you're watching Moderna. With that, Moderna potential outside day here, coming back down through. Uh, if we go to uh, AMN, still puking. All right, now you got an inside 60. But remember, right here is where we got our attention. All right, and then boom, continued puking. Here's a nice little, let's see, on the 60 here, how you can get in here. Slight higher high, which makes this is a two down, two up, boom, right here. Your magnitude was only to take this out, but you know that you're already in trouble over there, right? I'm trying to see if this market's going to stay in firm. So if they start to see if they take it up or down on these, on these uh, 60s. GBT, right out the chute. Boom, 2-2 two, two reversal on the day to the downside. Not the end of the world for this thing, but uh, knowing what to look for, like on a good opening like that, you know, it's like where people are like, I don't want to chase these things on the upside. I'm like, let's go after the guys who are in trouble first. Boom, right there. Then it's a matter of follow through. If we go to PKG. PKG, just an outside day. The 1.3 the rev strat to the downside. Stuck in this mother bar now. We'll see if that thing weakens because you are taking out last month's lows. Right, and you're an inside week to the downside, three, one, two, and the magnitude was to take this out. Right, they they paid up and they sold down. Then they met in the middle. Boom, real move takes this out. We'll see if there's any more to that. If you go to Netflix. And Netflix, potential outside day here. Still handling an inside week. So it's not really doing much, but anytime you start coming back through a range like that, we know outside bars exist. We'll see if there's more to it. If the market starts to come in, albeit right now starting to firm up a little bit. If we go to Palantir. Uh-oh. Looks like I lost a chart there. <laughs> Palantir, also taking out yesterday's lows. Not the end of the world. Still an inside week. Right? Let me get a chart up there. I don't know what happened to me. What happened? Uh oh. Uh, Alcoa to the highs. Thank you. Okay, Palantir. And so you can just see taking out yesterday's lows, and that just gets our attention, especially if this market comes in, albeit it's not doing that right now. We'll see. Inside on the 60. Go to DraftKings. And DraftKings, taking out yesterday's lows. Not the end of the world, but that's something I'd want to know about if the market weakens. If we go to DOCS. DOCS, Docs, taking out yesterday's lows. 3-2 down shooter on the, on the week and a 2-2 reversal on the month. This thing's got some problems and you got a little more magnitude to try and take these guys out. DOCS. Triple D. Once again, 2-2 two, two reversal on the day. <coughs> Gets my attention, not the end of the world, but it also is going to give you that inside month and down. And you're setting up the potential 2-2-2 two, two, two week down for next week. So uh, in the broader stuff, uh, no real problems in sight outside of these inside 60s, but the 
most things, 2-2 two -two reversal weeks. And so for next week, right now, nowhere near taking out this week's lows. So that's a good sign, positive sign for the market. Hope everybody had a great week and has an even better weekend. I'm Rob Smith, Smith in the Black with Strat Time Report.